He cleared his throat uncomfortably. Uh, what exactly is our goal? It was something Andre had not seen fit to discuss with him yet. Andre didn't answer for a moment as he hefted his heavy travelling pack up onto the back of his grey mare, lashing it securely behind the saddle. When he turned back to Janda, his expression was wry. Today we go to speak with the dragon. The statement left Janda totally speechless. It was several minutes before he finished gathering his things together and secured his pack to the back of his own mare. A dragon, he said at last, when he felt he could speak again with some semblance of coherence. Yes, Andre's tone gave away nothing, but Janda had the impression that the mage was amused with him. Janda forced himself to think logically. This is Aluin's plan, isn't it? Us talking to the dragon? If the enemy army had a dragon fighting with them, it stood to reason that the only way Koresha's army could fight back would be to convince a dragon to fight for them as well. Andre nodded. That is the plan. Somehow, knowing that didn't make Janda's chest feel any less tight. So what do we do? Just walk up there and ask the dragon for his help? Just like that? Just like that, yes. Janda was beginning to wish he hadn't been quite so hasty about accepting Aluin's offer to come along on this mission. But don't dragons eat people? They've been known to do so, on occasion. And this doesn't bother you? Andre favoured Janda with an indulgent look as he swung into his saddle with practised ease, the long tails of the reins falling loosely over his left thigh as he snatched them up. Dragons are servants of the magic, Janda. They have worked together with mages throughout recorded history. It is not unusual for us to turn to them for counsel in times of need. That sounded all well and good, but dragons were notoriously unpredictable. Janda had heard the stories. It had been generations since they ventured out of the hidden parts of the world, but back when they were commonly found, they were known for being powerful adepts in the magic, capricious and strong. He did not relish the thought of going up against one of them now. Andre's eyes flickered toward him. You're doubting yourself. Janda frowned, curling one hand into a fist at his side. I guess I don't understand why the king sent me here. This time, when Andre smiled, the expression had a cast of bitterness to it. The reason his majesty sent you on this mission has nothing to do with you, little to do with Croatia, and even less to do with this dragon. In fact, I very much doubt he expects you to approach the beast at all. Janda stared at him. What does that mean? Andre turned away from him. Do not fear, Janda. There is no reason for you to face the dragon today. I will talk to it alone to plead the king's case. That has been the plan all along. This time, Janda's heart was pounding for an entirely different reason. He thought about the king's assertion that Andre was wounded by his former apprentice's betrayal, and that he thought maybe Janda's presence here might begin to heal him. Was that really the only reason Janda had been sent along on this mission? No, Janda said before he could stop himself. Andre turned to look at him, his brows lifting in surprise. What did you say? Janda swallowed with difficulty. I said no. He blotted his damp palms against his thighs. You said that being a mage is a life of service. You said we have to live with the consequences of the actions we make. Well, if I let you go talk to that dragon alone, that's an action I'm going to have to live with for the rest of my life. I don't expect you to understand why. Coward, his father's voice whispered in his head, weakling, failure. I just know that if I start running now, I'm never going to stop. Andre frowned at him, his brow creased with displeasure. I never intended for you to face this dragon with me. I know you didn't. Because Andre Terish always did things alone, at least since his last apprentice turned on him. But Andre didn't always have to be alone, and Janda's father didn't know shit about him. But I want to do this. I want to be a mage, damn it. So let me try, all right? 